Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a book unhaul. I recently took a look at my shelves and I have so many books that I honestly think that I'm never going to get to or these are books that I just didn't enjoy enough to keep. I also learned a dangerous thing recently and that's my local used bookstore lets you exchange books for in-store credit. So I think for the foreseeable future, instead of buying books, I'm just going to exchange my old ones for new ones. That way I'm just not buying so many books that I have no more room on my shelves. So let's get into it. So the first group of books I'm going to be talking about, these are books that I just honestly don't think I'm ever going to get to. The first one I have is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Paupretto. This is a YA fantasy book and I believe it has to do something with phoenixes and things like that. That's all I really know about it. I'm pretty sure I bought this book just because I heard someone once say that they really liked it. I'm very impressionable when it comes to book reviews. I think the premise of this book definitely sounds really cool, but I have hundreds of fantasy books, namely YA fantasy books, on my TBR, and I just think it's unreasonable of me to want to read every single one because I'll just never get to them. So I'm definitely taking higher priority with fantasy series that really, really pique my interest, and this one just isn't one of them. Up next is The Girls Who Went Away by Anne Fessler. This is a nonfiction book that is about the hidden history of women who surrendered children for adoption in the decades before Roe v. Wade. This book does still sound interesting to me to some degree, but honestly, I feel like I already have too many nonfiction books, and this one wasn't on my TBR when I bought it. I just picked it up on a whim, but it's in really good condition, and I think someone else would love to have this. Up next are these three nonfiction feminist books, and that is can We All Be Feminists by June Eric Udori, Eloquent Rage by Brittany Cooper, and Keep Marching by Kristen Rowe Finkbeiner. So I already have so much feminist nonfiction on my TBR and these books are not super high on my TBR compared to the other ones that I have. So I feel like they're kind of just collecting dust on my shelf. And these are all also in really excellent condition, so I think someone else would love to have these. And also the used bookstore that I'm mentioning that I'm going to exchange these books for has a very small nonfiction section with not a lot of great titles. So I think that these would make a great addition to that collection. So up next is another YA fantasy, and that is A River of Blood by Amanda Joy. This is yet another fantasy book that just isn't very high on my want to read list in terms of YA fantasy. And I've heard really good things about this book, but it's just one that I don't think I'm ever going to get to. So up next I have another YA fantasy book and that is Romanov by Nadine Brandes. I believe this one takes place in Russia. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know too much about it. This is another book that I just like picked up on a whim from book outlet like three or four years ago and I just have not gotten to it and I don't think I ever will. So I will be donating this one. Another YA fantasy book I will be getting rid of is Blood Air by Emily Wen Zhao. I believe this is another Russian inspired fantasy and I don't really know too much about it. I haven't heard the greatest reviews about it though, and so it's not very high up on my TBR and it doesn't really pique my interest. So I will be getting rid of this one. So the next three books I'm gonna talk about are books that I'm getting rid of because my tastes have changed. So the first two I have is Letters to the Lost and More Than We Can Tell by Bridget Kemmerer. I absolutely love Bridget Kemmerer's writing. I think she's a fantastic author. I'm actually currently reading A Vow So Bold and Deadly by her right now. And I absolutely love that series. I just don't really read a whole bunch of YA contemporary anymore. Or when I do read YA contemporary, it's very specific books that I will read. So honestly, I just don't see myself ever getting to these and I think someone else would love to have them, especially because Bridget Kemmerer is such an awesome author. Up next is kind of a controversial one because I know this book has been popular on booktube for like five ever and that is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. Over the years, I've kind of come to realize that I am not a huge fan of dystopian books. I feel like my love for dystopian books kind of ended with Hunger Games back in middle school and I just haven't really liked the genre since. So I believe people when they say that it's good, it's just not something that particularly piques my interest anymore and it took a lot of time for me to realize that. But honestly, that's okay. People grow, people change, and I think someone else would love to have this. So this next book I'm getting rid of is only because I got a another edition of it and that is The Beautiful by Renee Adier. I absolutely love this series. It has to do with the vampires. It takes place in 1800s New Orleans. It's a stunning series. I absolutely love it. I'm still reading the series right now. 
I just got the regular hardcover edition, not the book of the month edition of The Beautiful, so it would match my other books. So I will be getting rid of this one. And the last four books I'm gonna be talking about are books that I'm only getting rid of because I rated them three stars or less, and I typically don't keep books that I rated three stars or less because I would like to only surround myself with books that I really loved, and I would love to give the opportunity for someone else to read them and enjoy them. So the first one I have is Cinderella's Dead by Kaylin Bayron. I already talked about why I didn't like this book extensively in a couple of my other videos, so I'm just going to sum it up really quickly. But this book kind of felt like, to me, a case of tell and no show. So basically everything that was being told to us from the author, it kind of just felt like she was telling us instead of showing us and world building and things like that. I didn't feel anything for the characters or the romance, and I didn't believe a lot of the things that were happening. I just wasn't fully immersed in this universe enough to feel like I was there and could root for the characters, if that makes sense. I know loads of other people absolutely love this book, so I think that someone else would love the opportunity to read this. Next is another book that I rated three stars or below, and that is Doll Bones by Holly Black. I already talked about this one in another video as well. This one just didn't really catch my interest, and I DNF'd it twice over the course of me owning it, so I think it's time for me to pass it on to someone else. The next one I have is Paybacks, A Witch by Lana Harper. This one was really disappointing to me because I really love witchy books, as you guys know. But this one just kind of was middle of the road for me, and I didn't think it was horrible, but I didn't think it was amazing either. So unfortunately, I will be getting rid of this one. And the last book I have that I rated three stars or below is Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, I just don't love the rich people problems trope. I don't really much care for it. I did really like the drama in this book, but I didn't love the ending, and I did not love the characters either. So I will be getting rid of this one and I don't think I'll be continuing on in the series. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss a single upload and have a good day. Bye! <laughs>